All right. I wasn't planning to sit tonight, but uh, if they bring the chair, why don't you sit? <laughs> John chapter 10, verse 10. John chapter 10, verse 10. My daughter who spoke last said, <laughs> After listening to all these people who have come before me, what is there left for me to say? And then she still went on and said something anyway. After this, my children have done so well. What is there left for me to say? So pray for me. <laughs> John chapter 10 verse 10. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. The Lord says there is life. And then there is abundant life. And then there is more abundant life. That means there is room for expansion. There is room for enlargement. In First Kings chapter 17 from verse 8 to 16, 1 Kings 17 from verse 8 to 16, there is life in the form of surviving. The widow of Zarephath, her son, and Elijah, they were together in the same house, surviving. I don't know if you pay attention to the scriptures very well. They were eating the same meal, morning, evening, for years, bread and oil, just surviving. But then there is abundant life. In Second Kings chapter 4, from verse 8 to 17, Second Kings 4, 8 to 17, the Bible talks about the Shunammite woman. Oh, that woman <laughs> was great, rich, influential. She was living abundant life. But then there is something called life more abundant. If you look at 1 Kings chapter 4 from verse 22 to 23, 1 Kings chapter 4, 22 to 23, you will see the provision, the food, that is eating in Solomon's house every day. It's incredible. I mean, incredible. The number of oxen, the number of bushels of fine flour, the number of bushels of meal, I mean, in this man's house, the, 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 the slaughter tank fatted cows in one day. And then they bring in 20 cows that were fed on, I mean, on the field outside. And to, they add to that a hundred sheep. And then they add to that bush meat like deer, uh, antelope, rubber, and then uncountable number of fowls. 
Now that is life more abundant. In the name of the one who owns the heaven and the earth, according to one of my sons, if you are merely surviving up to this moment, get ready for life more abundant. If you have been truly blessed by the word of the Lord, which you just listened to, the testimonies that abound, and the accuracy of those, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so as to let these messages get to your friends, loved ones, and family. And by also sharing this video to everyone you know. God bless you. See you in our next video.